Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through a quick video uh, on how to pull year, month, week, and more date fields from dates within NIME. So we're going to use data that we have from a previous three-part series video on working with dates. Um, this is a little less complex than that video, or that video series, um, so it shouldn't take too long. But we're going to work with this data set here where you've got looks like these three four or five different dates with sales attached to them and what we want to do is for each particular date pull the year the month name the month number the week number and maybe even the day number um, so let's get started so first we know what our data set looks like so after that you'll have to go to the node repository and type in extract date and then you'll see this extract date and time fields node so we'll drag and drop, connect it to our data set, right? And it's going to be as simple as literally double clicking into execute or to configure this node. And you select from within all these date fields that are available here. Um, one thing is if you have multiple dates within your data set, you've got to select here which date specifically you want to use to extract the fields from. So we're going to run with the year, let's add the quarter, month number, month name, the um, week of the year, so not the week um, of the month, so the week of the year, and then let's also run with the day of the year. Uh, so after you've got that set up, we don't have any time fields, so and we don't really want any of them, so we're good to go here. What we're going to do is we're going to hit apply, hit OK and now we're going to execute this so now these fields will append as new columns so now here you can see all the different fields we pulled out um, from these dates so you've got the year they're all 2020 so that makes sense they're all Q4 quarter 4 right because it's October the month number is 10 the month name is October then you've got the week number of the year and then finally the day of the year so it's as simple as that to extract date and time fields from within a date and time let me know if you have any questions or any comments we'll just drop them in the comments if you have any questions don't forget to share this video with your friends and I'll catch you guys on the next one